Minglava. Welcome to my Edu Entertainment channel again. Today, I'm going to talk about how to do a fundraising data analytic and create an exploratory dashboard using the Google Data Studios. Fundraising analytics provide a way for non-profit organizations to measure the effectiveness of different campaigns programs that they are running. Right? This makes it easier for an organization to adjust the fundraising uh, programs based on the best performance. Right? So in this video, we will walk through the steps to getting the fundraising analytics and how to measure the performance of the different programs. Right? Let's first understand the problem statement. For the fundraising analytic, there are different measurements to measure how successful the performance of different campaign programs. Right? As a non-profit organization, you may be running the different uh, fundraising events, campaigns, and programs to raise the fund. Right? But we need to see which program return you the highest. Right? So return on investment is one of the good measurement to measure how well the performance of our program is. Return on investment can be calculated based on the uh, total revenues your organization gains from the, these promotional programs over the total cost. So uh, for this organization, they have collected the data of the donors, demographic data of the donor and to their cost, uh, to their cost uh, as well as the income, right? For running the different campaigns and different programs. As a data analytics, your role is to analyze the data based on the historical performance and present to the board of trader which program is the returns the uh, highest profit, right? So we understand the problem now. Next step is what are our measurements and then how we want to present, right? We want to see which program is the most profitable and our metric is return of investment. So for this, we want to know what are the donor acquisition programs we have run through from 2012 to 2020, and then which one has the highest ROI every year, all right? And of course, we also wonder uh, how does each program contribute to the income of the organization? Maybe we may also want to see the balance between one or versus regular givers among the donor recruiters over the years, all right? So uh, we can study the yearly data to see which program provide you the most profitable, as well as trend analysis, right? Since we have the historical data, we can measure the, we can see how the each program has changed over time in terms of the donor recruiters, in terms of the return or investment, as well as the acquisition cost and retention cost. Now we understand the program. We, we understand the project well, all right? So what we are going to do now is we are going to analyze the data and create a beautiful indirected dashboard, right? But before we create indirected dashboard, we have to really think before we write down, right? We, before we create it, okay? So we have to think what kind of graph we want to use, what kind of metrics measurement we want to display. Right. Here in this project, we are going to create two uh, page report. Right. The first page will focus on the yearly performance. In every year, in each year, in, in a particular year, which program gives you the most profit in terms of the returns or investment. Right. And on the next report page, we want to see how the uh, each program has changed over the time. Right. So you have to think before you do. Data visualization, nothing about the impresses only. Right? It should give you a clear and true insight of what are the actionable recommendations we could make. Remember, less is more. Right? Never overload your report with the too much graph and data. It should give the audience a clear ideas what to do next based on your report. All right? 
Okay, once you are ready, we are going to start the project using the Google Data Studios. There are different tools for the data visualization. Okay. And in this course, in this videos, we will share how to use a Google Data Studio. Google Data Studio is cloud-based data visualization profile, which can connect to different uh, sources, all right? Uh, since it is a cloud based it is very easy to collaborate and the data can be updated dynamically. Okay, now if you are ready, let's start to work on Google Data Studios. All right. In the next videos, we are going to walk through the step-by-step -step guideline on the Google Data Studio, how to create the dashboard for this particular project. See you in the next video. Thank you.